Welcome to Granny's Book Nook. Today's story is The Polar Bears Are Hungry by Carol Carrick and illustrated by Paul Carrick. It is dark in Arctic winter. The sea is covered with ice. On the land, inside a snowbank, two polar bear cubs are born. For months, their drowsy mother rocks them, warms them with her breath, feeds them while they grow strong. The cubs stumble out of their cozy den for the first time. They squint in the light, roll down the snowbank, tumble. Soon, the bears move toward the sea. Mother bear is hungry. She hasn't eaten for months. Her body needs food, so she will have milk for her cubs. Mother sniffs the air. She can smell seal from a long way off. Seal fat is her favorite food. The fat layer under their skin keeps seals and bears more. Patiently, she waits by a hole in the ice where seals come up to breathe. She waits and waits. A seal rises. Quickly, mother hauls it up. The cubs get their first taste of seal. They like it too. Spring is coming. Each day the sun is warmer. The bear cubs slip and slide on the ice, chase each other, bite, splash in puddles. The ice pack is breaking up. The bears ride the ice floes, hunting for seals. The seals are sunning themselves. Mother shows the cubs how to catch one. She flattens herself like a rug. The cubs watch as she wriggles across the ice, pushing with her toes. Closer, closer. She makes a dash. She pounces. With an explosion of barks, the seals scatter. Mother snatches one. The ice flows shrink even smaller. Mother swims with the cubs on her back. Soon, they paddle on their own with wide webbed front paws. The bears must fatten up before the ice melts. Mother sees an ice flow loaded with seals shoving each other to get more space. She glides toward them, only her face showing. With a mighty heave, she is on the ice panic. The seals dive in all directions. They swim too fast for mother to catch one. Now the ice is gone. For months it is warm. Too warm for bears. Flies buzz in their ears, blur their eyes, get up their noses. Sometimes they eat a little grass and some berries a dead seal, or a bird that washes up on shore. This is a hungry time for bears. When the days grow colder, the bears move north where ice will be forming. Passing a village, they pick through its garbage dump for food. People make loud noises and frighten them off. But the bears return, bold because they are hungry and mother needs milk for her cubs. This time, they come into the village where they smell food. Children on their way to school see the bears breaking into a house. Wildlife officers come to drug mother and her cubs so they can safely move them to a special jail for bears. As soon as Mother Bear can stand, she tries to escape from the cell. But the walls are thick and the bars are strong. She paces, 
moans. Still, Mother is relieved that the cubs are with her so she can protect them from the strange sounds and smells. Wind shrieks through the long, cold night. Ice cracks and groans while the sea freezes over. Now, the bears can be set loose. Free again, the bears have one overpowering need. They set off at a trot, following the scent of seal. That night, the snow drifts against mother's back. The cubs snuggle into the curve of her body. Her milk is rich. Their stomachs are full. And tomorrow will bring more good hunting. Thank you for visiting Grammy's Book Nook. To get more information for this book, check the description box below. Be sure to thumbs up this video. Click the subscribe button for the latest videos on Grammy's Book Nook.